Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Wi Fi if it keeps on disconnecting on your iPhone. Now, there's multiple reasons why Wi Fi might be disconnecting on your iPhone, and we're going to go through the troubleshooting steps to hopefully resolve this. So, let's get started. So, first thing, whenever you're having this issue with Wi Fi disconnecting, you want to go into your Wi Fi settings, and under the Wi Fi setting, the settings here, Make sure that you're connected to the right network. Let's say the thing is you have maybe connected to two or three different Wi-Fi around the same area. What could happen is sometimes they could be competing to connect to each one. So you might be losing Wi-Fi connection one in order for it to try to connect to another because of the signal strength. So what I recommend doing is in that case, first start by forgetting the network themselves. So first, if you're connected to one, click on that eye icon, and then you want to click on forget this network and click on forget. Now you want to keep on doing it for all the Wi-Fi connection that's in your area that you ever connected to and saved the Wi-Fi connection. After that, go ahead and connect to the one that you want to connect for sure. So in that case, for us, it would be this one. So I'm going to, of course, put in my uh, password and then connect to this one. Now, let's say this method, after you have done that, it's still not working. It's time to give your phone a force restart. So in order to do a force restart on your iPhone, you're going to do volume up or volume down, and then you want to hold the side button like this over here that I'm holding. Again, to demonstrate that to you, it's going to be volume up, volume down, and then the side button. You keep on holding a side button here just like that. Well, it's time to turn off. Again, do not need to slide to power off. You're going to keep on holding it till the screen goes completely black, just like that, and keep on holding it still till you see the Apple logo reappear, and then let go of that button. Now, what you have done is turn down the phone completely, and it's going to reload the code. So if there is any software-related issue impacting the network connectivity, it will resolve that issue. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data, so you don't have to worry about that. After that, go ahead and get back into your phone, and hopefully the Wi-Fi is working for you. Now, let's say the Wi-Fi still isn't working. The next thing you want to do is go in your settings, and then under general, you want to check if there is any VPN or device management. Sometimes VPN can interf interfere with your Wi-Fi connectivity as well. I recommend if you can remove the VPN and test out to see if that's the issue. And if that's the issue, of course, you know the problem, which means you'll have to either remove the VPN itself or kind of completely contact if you have a VPN provider, contact them as well, see what's going on there. Now, after you have done that and you're still having issues, it's time to check out another setting around your cellular setting itself, which we'll show you in this phone here that I have. So what you'll want to do is under your settings of your phone, like this again, you're going to go to cellular here and go all the way down here under your cellular option where it says Wi-Fi Assist, you want to turn off Wi-Fi Assist, which automatically uses cellular data when Wi-Fi connectivity is poor. The reason why you want to do this is that sometimes your phone might think that your cellular data, again, isn't working or Wi-Fi is poor. It'll try to switch back and forth, and that could interfere if you're connected to a Wi-Fi. So turn that off and go ahead and check out what that does for you and that helps a lot. I've seen a lot of times where your phone constantly think the Wi-Fi isn't strong enough so it'll try to connect to cellular which will make you lose a Wi-Fi connection and then it'll try to connect again which again is a setting that could be impactful which you want to test out. Now the next troubleshooting steps that you want to do to resolve the issue is go into your settings and then go to general and then all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone and click on that click on the very first option for reset and we want to perform a network reset so this will reset any network connected uh, settings that you have so things like saved Wi-Fi any uh, Bluetooth settings uh, such as that will be reset and if you do that generally you'll just need to enter your passcode it will take about Generally, like I said, maybe 30 seconds to a minute at most, but it helps a lot. And then you need to reconnect to your Wi-Fi one more time because it erased all of your Wi-Fi connectivity that you have around the settings themselves. Again, this method will not delete any of your personal data. So vi photos, videos, apps, and all of your information will still be on your phone. So you don't have to worry about that. But again, important thing to do when you're having your Wi-Fi uh, disconnecting on you or having random connectivity issues. So as you can see here, the Apple logo will be flashed after doing the setting. You just have to be a patient, and then once again, you're going to be back to your phone by entering your phone's passcode. Now, after you have done that and you're still having issue, the last thing you can do is go into your settings of your iPhone, go to general, and click on software update, and look to see if there's an update available. And in order to do that, 
this is kind of a little tricky you'll need to try to connect to Wi-Fi but for some reason if your Wi-Fi is disconnecting you might all you might need to connect your phone to your computer and using iTunes you need to update the software of your phone which you can do through your computer as well so in our case here I'm gonna go ahead and try to connect to my Wi-Fi here that I have and then show you if there's an update available what it will show you so let's go ahead and let me just connect this quickly All right, so what happens is, of course, in order to check for updates, you'll need Wi-Fi connection or cellular data, which will allow you to do any sort of internet because you need internet in order to check to see if there's an update. And if there's an update out like this one here, you'll need to download it and install the latest update because a previous update might have caused some sort of software bug issues that could be impacting your Wi-Fi from disconnecting. So you wanna make sure your phone is up to date at the latest version. Now, after you have done all of this, and you're still having issues, I recommend checking with another device if you have another iPhone or another, you know, there, any phone device that connects to your Wi-Fi. And if you're seeing that same exact issue where the Wi-Fi is disconnecting, the problem isn't gonna be your iPhone, it's gonna be probably your modem or router. In that case, first step troubleshooting, again, turn off your modem and router uh, completely give it about a minute and then turn it back on, see if that helps. And if that doesn't help, I would contact your, uh, internet providers to see if they can help resolve and troubleshoot your internet connection issues. So I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.